Oh, hi everybody. I'm MJ. I'm the founder of Ultra Love. Happy to be here with you guys. I do these daily readings to get a little vibe check on the day, to connect with you guys, to share the brand where I sell courses I produced over the last 10 years. Really about sustainability, spirituality, and freedom. These are the pillars of the brand. Uh, really inspiring that sense of self-responsibility and how we become more conscious creators. It's just dealing with the old emotional body and processing a lot of potentially uh, painful emotional uh, experiences within self. But anywho, let's just crack on and see what we get in these cards. Feel free to book a private reading. You can get the links, um, check out the testimonials and all that jazz. Okay, we're shuffling, everybody shuffling. I sometimes will like hear songs in my head, but over the course of my life, I'm kind of deaf and not kind of, I'm a bit quite deaf actually in my left ear, but um, no, I can hear everything perfectly. Um, so I have a like really bad habit of like just assuming the words, like I don't know exactly the words. And so often growing up in high school, like my group of friends would just take the fucking piss. They're like, Molly, those aren't the words. It kind of sounds like the words to me. Um, divine guidance and loving clarity. Let's get into your cards for today, you guys. Divine guidance and loving clarity. We'll be getting into the monthly readings, monthly all signs, weekly elemental readings, and the daily intuitive shares. So divine guidance, loving clarity. What have we got? Divine guidance and loving clarity for my love of supreme. These are mainly, you guys remember this, they're for fun and entertainment. I like to remind people that like these cards or like these things or people outside of us inherently don't have power over us. It's, it's the Shazam, you know, it's part of responsibility. It's part of rising up into our consciousness, you know, it's like, and yet there's nuance and there's discernment to all of that because we do impact one another. Obviously we reflect one another uh yeah okay there's cards here let's look at them uh this has come up through in the center here ten of cups nice beautiful amazing <laughs> uh sometimes i think that the ten of cups is a prelude to manifesting the ten of pentacle as well like as in a full life usually has people in it you know kitties and pets and creatures and being in love you know being in love is is uh uh, uh, ideal. If we're not in love, we're probably not, like, feeling this high vibratory. Uh, also, I get, like, homestead. Some of y'all might be actually buying land with your family, with your prop, with your peeps. But there's Ace of Wands and Queen of Wands reverse all around this Ten of Pent or Ten of Cups. So let's get, let's get some energy. I'm especially, uh, interested in this Queenie here. What's she... She's looking over at that Ten of Pentacles or Ten of Cups as well. It's like instead of just rushing into this new beginning, you're not rushing into it. It's it's like there, but you're not like grabbing it to run. <laughs> uh, there's something about really grounding and focusing on the home. Grounding and focusing on uh, like stabilizing this energy, you could say. What's Queen of What's up, Queenie? Queen of Wands is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. She's there. She's looking. She's looking. I keep hearing this song, working nine to five. What a way to make a living. <coughs> Do you know it? I'm pretty sure it's Dolly. Dolly Parton. What's Queen? Hello, Queen. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Oh, movement. But why is she reversed? <laughs> She's somehow connected to the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, fuck yeah. Hella. Oh my god, didn't yesterday... Did, weren't there a whole bunch of good cards in yesterday's reading? I don't know. See, I forget. I forget because I'm doing quite a few readings. Just per patch, so... <laughs> Thanks, MJ. I really appreciate what you said. Like, I often don't remember. Sorry, I, I'd have to go back. However, what I recall is getting some comments from people being like, claiming it. This is a hellish shazam. I'm like, great. 
So we, once again, we have a Ten of Pentacles and a Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups in the upright, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And um, there's something about this Queen of Wands. Why is she here? There's something about movement. Queen of Wands taking the keys, moving house, maybe moving. Why is she reversed though? This person could be uh, losing money, maybe? Like, I mean, it could be your partner, straight up. This person could re be representative of your husband or wife or your spouse. I kind of feel that. Like, I feel like you are... This is central. And then somebody in your life doesn't have to be like a romantic partnership at all. But somebody in your life, I think, is going through a transformation. As in, they might be healing loads of core wounds. They might be going through something where they feel left out of like the, the, the world. I'm getting a sense of like a connection of empowerment. Like... The world, transformation, healing, healing, feeling left out. It could be you as well, okay? Y'all might be the, the queen of wands reverse. Like, yes, you have a happy family or like, yeah, you know, yeah, your family is amazing, etc. It could also be that you, ha that you didn't take a new beginning. And maybe the maybe your partner or you is a little disappointed about it. And I feel like this healing has to yeah, oh it's a bit spicy. There's some something about compromise and, and like but it's I don't know if it's compromising or like not compromising. There's just a pretty <coughs> heavy focus on the pinnacle and making sure that we're financially secure. And it could be that like the part your partner is moving away from home for a job and it's triggering you or they to feel left out. Oh, but there's a bit of sticky vibratory here as far as like do I, don't I, or it's like, basically, this is the central focus, like just focusing on happy home, happy children. <laughs> That's it, that just focusing on happy home, happy children. For now, it's almost like if we compromise ourselves too much, we can't grow. If we compromise ourselves too much, we can't really, truly have what we want. And I, I just get a sense like there's, um, there's a little bit of conflict or something to work through. Like a little bit of... Yes, okay, yeah. A little bit of conflict and or a little bit of like hurty feelings, like bruised feelings about something. This energy is coming through a lot, my lovers. So it's like, check it out as far as pay attention to what's going on around you. You might be manifesting the dr <gasps> the dream life. Divine guidance, love and clarity. The final messages from my, from my lovers. This is just taking stock, moving through, right? Again, really potently positive energy in a sense it don't get much better than that unless we had like the sun and the love or something but like the ten of cups with the ten of pentacle all the monies all the love all the connectivity and your hoot either you or someone within this inner circle vibratory is is a bit distant or going through something or maybe having to move away or getting an opportunity that triggers like a oh no, you know, what if we feel left out? Or what if you feel left out? Or what if we can't, 
what if we can't do what we want to do? What if we can't create the life we want to create? And <laughs> I feel like there's this energy of like, and yet there is an energy here of like following your soul because some things just aren't worth compromising on. Especially when you're in this kind of joyful or have a vision of a really joyful, happy family life. <clears throat> it's like, I don't want to disrupt that, right? Like, I don't want to ruin that. And so, I just get a sense of like being responsible, being as responsible as possible. And then claiming the keys... Yeah, you might be getting a new car. You might be getting a, a promotion. But there again, that could take us away from the homestead. So uh, a bit of a shift. I'm getting, even within that stickiness, you know, I'm getting just a sense of if this is resonating at all, I feel like this might just be a week where some of us will have to have like conversations, proper you know, in essence, healing conversations, but often is the case they're conflicted and thus they're like difficult to approach or <clears throat> just, yeah, just like hard to, not something we're going to run into necessarily, you know, we're not going to excitedly be like, we let's resolve the conflict because it's uh, burdensome yeah burdensome this is this is the end of that of that cycle that's why there's all these tens and ones right is that we're closing out chapters where we take on too much for other people maybe take on too much energy to try to make other people happy which denies our personal power y'all like i want this and i'm gonna have it i want this and i'm gonna have it so i just feel like there might be relevant conversations say with the children or with pardon me, like a significant other because you or someone else is like going through like, oh fuck, all this stuff. Like I feel left out. I have to change this. I have to do this. I have to move here. And it's like, is it going to be worth it? Maybe it's asking those, asking those kinds of questions, you know, like, is this really going to be worth it? Anyway, there's a little reading for my lover Supreme. Have an awesome day. You guys look after yourselves to thine own self. Be true. Uh, don't forget, subscribe, like, do all that juicy, supportive jazz. Thank you for um, helping support Ultra Love and my brand and this community. Holla Shazam, you're all awesome. I love you guys. Peace out.